I've been thinking about it all day. Baby, what, what's all this about? Hmm? Do you know how much money we have saved? Enough to live on for six months without you earning another dime. And with the money we could get from the house and the car, longer than that. What we could get for the house? Sweetheart, wh what are you talking about? Where are we going to live? Paris. What? You always said it was the only place you'd ever been that you wanted to go back to. The only place that was worth living. So why don't we go there? You're serious? Yes. What's stopping us? What's stopping us? Well, I could think of a number of different things. For example, what kind of a job could I possibly get? You won't be getting any kind of a job. Because I will. Oh, right, right. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Listen a minute. Do you know what they pay for secretarial positions in government agencies in Europe? No, I don't. Listen, Frank, I'm serious about this. Do you think I'm kidding or okay, something? Okay, okay, I just have a couple of questions is all. For one thing, what exactly am I supposed to be doing while you're out earning all this money? Hmm? But don't you see? That's the whole idea. You'll be doing what you should have been allowed to do seven years ago. You'll have time. For the first time in your life, you'll have time to find out what it is that you actually want to do. And when you figure it out, you'll have the time and the freedom to start doing it. Sweetheart, it's just not very realistic is all. Huh? No, Frank. This is what's unrealistic. It's unrealistic for a man with a fine mind to go on working year after year at a job he can't stand. Coming home to a place he can't stand, to a wife who's equally unable to stand the same things. Do you want to know the worst part? Our whole existence here is based on this great premise that we're special and superior to the whole thing. But we're not. We're just like everyone else. Look at us. We've bought into the same ridiculous delusion. This idea that you have to resign from life and settle down the moment you have children. And we've been punishing each other for it. Listen, we decided to move out here. No one forced me to take the job at Knox. I mean, whoever said I was meant to be a big deal anyway? When I first met you, there was nothing in the world you couldn't do or be. When you first met me, I was a little wise guy with a big mouth. You were all. not. How can you even say that? Okay, so I'll have time. And God knows that's appealing. It's, it's, it's very appealing. And everything you're saying makes sense. If, if I had a definite talent, if I, no, if but, I were but, a writer or an artist. Listen, listen to me. It's what you are that's being stifled. It's what you are that's being denied and denied in this kind of life. And what's that? Don't you know? wonderful thing in the world. You're a man. Why the hell not? 